This is a demonstration of how to select things in ArcMap. The easiest way is to use an interactive selection where you literally just click on the feature that you're interested in and it gets highlighted. You can clear the selection using the Clear Selected Features tool here. Often what happens though when you're doing a selection is that, for example, if I'm trying to select these red circles, you'll find that it actually selects something in a different feature class as well uh, that you hadn't intended. One handy feature that you can use is in the table of contents, switch to the selection view, and you can uh, tell it not to select um, features from other feature classes. So I'm turning these off now so that the only ones that are selectable are the ones in the points layer. So if I now go and select something here, I can do a drag a circle or whatever, or a square, I mean, um, then we have the selection of just the things that I'm interested in. You can hold down the shift key if you want to select more than one thing when a, something has already been selected and we can uh, clear it if we want to. Um, one thing I want to point out is that once you've made a selection, if you want to, you can export that going by saying data, export data, and then it will automatically give you the option of exporting only the selected features. So this is a really nice way of being able to create a subset of features if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so we can also do a selection by attribute. Uh, my points file has different attributes in it. If I go in here and uh, double click on name, it will automatically put that in the query box. And then I can choose an operator such as equals. And then if I click get unique values, that will list all of the different values in my attribute table under the field of name. And so if I just double click something like this, Burger Baron, and apply, you'll see that it's selecting the features in my map. One other nice thing is that if I open the attribute table for this, the features are also selected in the attribute table. So it's, it's selecting it both in the table and on the map, which of course is quite useful. We can also select things by location. Select by location is up here. And for example, I can say I want to select features from my points feature class um, using as a comparison my lines feature class and I've specified it so that it's going to select points that are within 2,000 meters of the lines. So if I click apply this has selected all of the points within 2,000 meters of any of the lines. So we can select by location and there's many different spatial operators available for selecting things like something that's contained or whatever. So actually, let's look at that now. If, for example, I select this rectangle, oh, I have to turn that back on so it's selectable again. Um, if I select that rectangle, I can then go into select by location and say that I'm going to select points um, in comparison to my source layer, which is now rectangles. And just as an extra thing, I'm going to show you that you can use only the selected features. So now I'm going to select points that are, uh, let's select our operator here, are completely within the source layer, which is the rectangles, but only the ones that I've selected. So now it's selecting all of the points that are inside the rectangles, but only the rectangle that I had already selected. And then I can also do things like uh, remove from the currently selected features or uh, something else so I could say, remove from the currently selected features anything that is within, let's say, um, a distance of uh, 1,000 meters. See if that gives us anything different. Apply that. And so it's actually removed one point from my selection. So you can add to selections, remove from selections, lots of different things, things to work with there. Other things that we can do. We can create graphics using the drawing toolbar. If you don't have that active already, you can just add it to your, uh, to your ArcMap document. So under drawing, I can uh, go over here and select, for example, a circle. And if I draw a circle on this map, you see I can draw it any size I want. I can move it around. I can get the properties of that circle. And you'll notice that it's geographically aware. First, I'll just, uh, let's say, change it to look like uh, red outline but it's showing me what the area and the perimeter are and the center in meters those are real geographic or uh, UTM coordinates actually 
um, but it's geographically aware in that it knows where it is in the Earth and how large it is in reference to the surface of the Earth's Earth, which is really nice. So once I have that, I can go to selection and then select by graphics, and it will select anything that uh, is intersecting with my graphic. So once again, I could uh, remove something from selection, so I'm only using my points. Let's try that again. Select by graphics, and now it's only selecting the features inside my graphic. So that's basically it. We can uh, so select interactively. We can select by attribute, by location, by graphics, and we can export a selection to a new file. Um, and we can turn uh, selectable layers on and off in the table of contents. So that's it for our selections.